like through here, but then we make the more range that we can take or get. So if we make the spacing like 10, 15 meters apart, mm -hmm. that's fine. Then we stick this one in here as well. It's just a temporary. You must make it see there's a rock, so just be it next to it. So these are like probes that you put it's in probes. there? Probes, put it in. And so this machine basically, when you use it, it will send an ultrasound between the two probes. So once I hit the button here, it sends the pulses down with the probes. Okay. So it's making your circle direction underneath and it's sending down up your receptivity values. Like sonar? Yes, okay. so it's making your, your waves underground like this. Oh. Mm. Then it will basically sends up all the data from the top. And then I get like three readings on your machine. Just put it on. So basically, that's the reason readings you will get now from. It's, it's sending all the readings now through. That's your one, two, and three readings that you're getting. Yeah. So that's three different type of data you're getting back from the uh, from the, the actual um, activity you're getting back. So basically, what's happening is now, if all three of them collaborate into picking up this read, it will detect and you know say there's exactly a read. Okay. So that's why the data your different frequencies. This is like say 25, 50, and 65. Okay. So it's all different frequencies you enter into that Maxwell theory. Remember I told you about the theory. Okay, okay. So your voltages and your frequencies and that with this, the basically all this data, mm -hmm. the three data you're getting back, you put into that software and it will then tell exactly, all right, the read is say, you pick it up at 10 or there is no read there or whatsoever. Or like, say for instance, your, your low values or whatsoever will indicate that your Soil area is much, uh, the receptivity there is very low because it's a very good conducting area. Okay. Yeah. So do, uh, does, does these numbers give us any slight indication of, of what uh, no, this the numbers no. might be? No, no, no. You have to do it yeah. through the uh, program. That's, uh, that's the only thing, but I mean, that's yeah. unfortunately you have to do the right procedure. Of course, mm -hmm. I, I can tell you roughly right now, um, yeah, there's something here and then yeah. there's nothing there. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not going to, you know. Be safe. Yeah. yeah. So basically that's what, and when, you see, when, when you're done retaking reading, you just take this one and cross it to that side. So this one stays in the ground. Okay. So this one stays in the ground. And you measure another 10, 15 meters. Ah, in the ground. gotcha. So you're continuing like that. That one stays on the ground. When, when you're finished, you take that and put it there. Gotcha. So it's all a cycle. So you're measuring that area, this area, this area, that area. So you're not missing a, a piece of area okay. where you're actually putting, not sticking the probe. Okay. So that's how the circulation of all your, your waves will work underneath the ground. So it's a very simple process, but very effective. Nice. Yeah.